This is the desert grassland whiptail lizard, and this beautiful reptile you can mostly find in Central America. Right around this area, right here. They're a lot like other reptiles. They enjoy eating insects and... Mating. I'll start. No, 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 no. no, no. Excuse me, I'm five feet away from you. Back up. Wow. The predators of this fine specimen include coyotes, <laughs> snakes, and birds. I'm not here to tell you all about this creature. I'm here to tell you about the. I'm. Oh. I'm here to tell you about how this animal frickle frackles. Bam! They're having intercourse. But that's not the juiciest part of what's happening in this picture. Now we have light. Both of these little lizards are females. In fact, most every single lizard in this species is, in fact, a female. Is there a name for that? There's, yes, there is a name. Hey, I'm asking myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a name for that? I sure am glad you asked because the name, okay, is called Par Parthen. <laughs> this type of reproduction is called Par Par. Hmm. Pa this type. Of mm, this type of re. Oh. Oh. This type of reproduction with these two uh, called par parthenogenesis and parthenogenesis is a no sexual reproduction basically one female gets on top of the other female and stimulates this female by pretending to be a male and this action stimulates the lizard into fertilizing its eggs this actually makes a clone of this lizard so this lizard's going to have little baby lizards that look exactly like this. This is very cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, I wish I could do it. But there is a downfall to this type of reproduction, you see, is the species can't evolve because there is no genetic... Because there is no genetic variation. Think of it like two flavors of ice cream. You have the chocolate ice cream. That's the vanilla ice cream. Now let's say you smushed them together. You would have a chocolate and vanilla swirl ice cream. But if the ice creams just stimulated each other, let's say they sang themselves a little song. What's the ice cream truck song? It's like, do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? That stimulation would make little baby clones, but they don't have any genes from each other. So these little baby ice creams would just be exact replicas. I hope this uh, presentation shed some light on your confusion.